Good day everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel and for today's video, ang topic natin ay counting principles at ito ay under ng chapter na permutation and combination. At kung bago ka pa lamang sa aking channel, please like and subscribe to my channel para lagi kang updated sa aking mga bagong upload na video tutorial. The counting principles. Yan, merong addition principle of counting, tapos multiplication principle of counting, na minsan ay tinatawag na fundamental counting principle. Addition principle of counting. If A occur in M ways, and event B can occur in N ways, then A or B occur in M plus N ways. Example, a bakery has... 6 ensaymadas and 18 chocolate cupcakes left at the end of the day. Jeff wants to buy there for his break. How many types of bread can he choose from? Solution. Since the bread are all different, add the quantities of these breads to find the number of types of bread he can choose. Tapos, ang malalagay natin dito ay 6 plus 18. Bale, Jeff, si Jeff ay mayroong 24 breads na pagpipilian. Dito sa addition principle of counting or addition counting principle, ano yan, isang beses ka lang pipili, tapos marami kang pagpipilian. Tapos lahat ng pagpipilian mo, ipagpa-plus mo lang. Okay, another example of addition counting principle. The mathematics club requires one student to be the club president. If there are 16 grade 8, 14 grade 9, and 20 grade 10 present at the room, how many different choices for club president are there? Dito, pili daw sila ng isang club president. Bale, ang gagawin dyan, ipagka-plus mo lang lahat to ng pagkipilian mo. Kasi isang beses ka lang naman pipili. Yan, solution, 16 plus 14 plus 20 is equal to 50. Therefore, there are 50 choices for club president. Ganun lang yung addition counting principle. Isang beses ka lang pipili, tapos ipagka-plus mo lahat ng pagpipilian. Okay, multiplication principle of counting or fundamental counting principle. Suppose that two events happen in order. If the first event can happen in M ways and the second in N ways after the first has happened, then the two events can occur in M times N ways. Dito naman, dalawang beses ka pipili or higit pa. Kaya ang gagawin mo, yung mga pagpipilian na ito times mo pag multiply mo. Example, Peyton's Men's Wear Shop has 12 different designs of shirts with 4 different sizes. How many choices of shirts can the shop offer to a customer? Ayan. There are two choices, color of shirt and its size. At the first stage, ayun nga, sa unang pagkakataon, ng customer ay pipili ng kanyang design, design na gusto or color. Tapos sa pangalawa, pipili na siya ng size. If there are 12 different designs and 4 different size of shirt, then, gagawin natin ay 12, yung unang pagpipilian mo, Pipili ka sa 12, tapos sunod pipili ka sa, sa 4. Bali, pagka times mo, 12 times 4 is equal to 48. Bali, 48 ways of choosing a men's shirt. Another example of multiplication principle of counting. In Philippines, automobile license plates display 3 letters followed by 4 digits. How many such plates are possible if repetition of letters is allowed Tapos, not allowed. Yung allowed, ganito. Pwede magpaulit-ulit. AAA. Tapos, ayan. 1, 1, 1, 1. Pwede yung mga digits magpaulit-ulit. Sa so, not allowed naman, ABC 1, 1, 1, 1. Kaya kung nilagay na ABC, ibig sabihin, kapag napili na yung A, hindi na siya pwede. Iba letter naman. There are 7 events. 3 for each letter and 4 for each digit on the license plate. Ito yun. Ito yung diagram. Ito yung paliwanag yan. At the first stage, we choose a letter. 26 possible choices kasi 26 yung letters sa alphabet. 
At the second to third stage, we will also choose a letter, 26 possible choices each. Kasi dito, sa, sa A natin, repetition of letters is allowed. Ibig sabihin, kapag may napiling isa, pwede mo pa siyang piliin sa pangalawa. At pangatlo, pwede rin. Kaya, 26 pa rin. The fourth stage, we will choose a digit, 10 possible choices. Ano yun? Yung from 0 to 9. Tapos kapag nakapili ka, pwede mo pa siyang ulitin sa pang 5, pang 6, at pang 7. By multiplication counting principle, the number of possible license plates is 26 times 26 times 26 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is equal to 175,760,000. Yan, ipagta-times siya lahat. Solution for B. Repetition of letters is not allowed. Dito hindi na pwede maulit yung letters. Ito yung diagram. At ito yung paliwanag. At the first stage, we choose a letter. 26 possible choices. Yan, A to Z. Nasa limbawa, pinili natin yung A. At the second stage, we will also choose a letter. 25 possible choices. Because one has been chosen. Ayun nga, sabi ko kanina, pumili na tayo. Ayun yung A. Bale, tagyan na nga natin. Mare, A. Ayan, bawal na tong A. Pili ka naman ng ibang letter, B to Z. Tapos, nabawa sa pangalawa, piliin natin yung B. Ayan. Tapos, at the third stage, we will choose another letter. Magiging 24 possible choices because the two has been chosen. Ayan, napili na itong dalawa. Kaya, Z, C to Z na lang. Ayan. Tasunod, at the fourth stage, we will choose at digit 10 possible choices. 0 to 9. Bawa, lagay natin 1. Tapos, sa fifth stage, ganun pa rin. 10 possible choices pa rin. Ayun, 10 possible choices each. Ayun, 57. Bali, pwede siya maulit-ulit. Pag may restriction na not allowed, pababa ng pababa. Letters is not allowed, pababa ng pababa. Repetition of letters is not allowed. Tapos, balik tayo sa kanina. Sa kanina, ano, allowed, di ba? Kaya, pwede siya magpa ulit-ulit. Tapos, hindi pabawas ng pabawas. Same sila lahat. Ito, by multiplication counting principle, the number of possible license plates is 26 times 25 times 24. Ayan, pababa ng pababa. Times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is equal to 156 million. Short reminder, addition counting principle has one event of choosing while multiplication counting principle has more than one event of choosing. Sa addition counting principle, isang beses ka lang mamimili. Bale, ipagpa-plus mo lahat ng choices. Kapag multiplication naman, ano, da dalawa o higit na beses ka pang magpipili. Kaya magiging M times N times pwede pang O. Hanggang ilan pa yan. Okay, thank you for watching. Sana yung may natutuhan kayo. Please like, share, and subscribe for more math video tutorials. Itong picture na nilagay ko dito ay isang chapter sa grade 10, geometry, na circle. At kung gusto nyong panoorin, ay ilalagay ko ang link ng playlist sa description. Hanggang dito na lang. Paalam.